this topic actually does have to do with science, I'm going to go off on a little bit of a rant here. So recently, I had to go to the hospital, the emergency room, three times because I had a kidney stone. So the first time, they took a CAT scan and they said, oh, you should be able to pass it, no problem, it's little. And a week later, I'm still in a lot of pain. I go back to the ER, they say, oh, it's moved, it's almost ready to pass, it's very close. A week after that, uh, it still has not passed, and the doctor said, all right, we're going to uh, do surgery on Monday, so this is Sunday, so we're going to keep you overnight to manage your pain, and we'll take it out in the morning. Kidney stones are no fun, but that's not really the point of this video. My problem is the three times that I went to the ER, it, it, it was March, so also flu season, and there were patients coming into the ER because they thought they might have the flu. That's cool. That's what you should do. If you are sick, go to the hospital or go see the doctor. The problem is, is that the hospital was asking those people as they came in the door, they had a box of these face masks available, and they were asking anybody that had flu-like symptoms to wear a mask. Why would they do that? Well, to keep people like me who were not sick, you know, I had I did have something wrong, but I didn't have the flu and I didn't have any flu-like symptoms. And they want to keep people like me that maybe were there for some sort of injury or something unrelated to the flu virus. They want to make sure those people aren't going to get the flu. So they're asking you to put on a face mask and they also had hand sanitizer. So they're asking you to put some hand sanitizer on to make sure there's no germs on your hands. Great! But... The problem is that some of those people were not wearing their masks appropriately. I saw 15 people the first day that I was in the ER with masks on because they thought they might have the flu. And as they were sitting in the waiting room waiting to be called, this is what I see. Their noses were not covered with the face mask. Uh, people, the point of wearing a face mask is to cover anywhere where air is coming in and out of your body. Because that's how the flu gets from person to person. It's an airborne virus and it comes out of your body through your lungs, through the water droplets that are in your lungs. Guys, we're made of 70% water. And when you breathe in and out, you are giving off moisture from your body. And the perfect example of this is when it's cold outside and you go outside, your body is warmer. And so when you breathe out, that water vapor that's in your lungs condenses immediately because the outside cold air is colder. Okay? Now in your lungs, these water droplets are where the virus collects. So inside the water droplets, there can be flu virus. So when you breathe out, those droplets come out into the air. They can get on other things, which is why you want to always wash your hands or use hand sanitizer because, you know, it could get on uh, the chair and then I touch the chair or, you know, uh, luckily the hospital has automatic doors. But if you open a door and, you know, your hands have virus on it, then you or the door has virus on it, you could pick that up. And if you touch your nose or your mouth or even your eyes, you have now let that virus into your body. So, when somebody coughs or sneezes, you know, you're supposed to cover your, your mouth. And uh, being that I teach school, we teach the kids, uh, instead of coughing and sneezing into their hands, because when you cough and sneeze into your hands, still particles get around that, but it also gets on your hands. So number one, you'd have to immediately wash your hands, but if you touch anything around you, then you're going to put the virus out and around. So we teach the kids to cough or sneeze into their elbow, which is not going to stop all of the droplets 100%, but it will stop a lot of them so that people around you don't get sick. Well, in the hospital, they're asking you to cover both your nose and your mouth because water droplets do come out of your nose when you cough or sneeze, or even 
when you breathe. So if you think that you might have the flu and you have to go to the doctor's office or the hospital and they are asking you to wear a face mask, the proper way to do that is to make sure that both of the elastics are over your ear and that the uh, cottony part is over your mouth and your nose and it even has a, a bit of a wire here so you can pinch it over your nose and keep as much of those water droplets with the virus in it in the mask as possible. So over your ears, over your nose and mouth, and pinch to make sure that it is completely covering your nose and your mouth. Now once you touch it and put it on, you should not touch it again. And when you are done with it, these are disposable. You throw these away. You don't use it again, because guess what's in there? <gasps> flu virus, okay? Don't put it back on, all right? Don't give it to somebody else to use. That would be bad. Throw it away. Ending of rant. Thanks for listening.